everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be teaching you how to make scrunchies. Scrunchies is one of my favorite things to sew because they're easy, they're fun, and they're like a perfect gift for all your girlfriends. For things like scrunchies that I like to make a lot of, um, I like to trace my measurements on a piece of paper. So for a traditional size scrunchie, we will need a 37 centimeter long piece of paper that is 10 centimeters thick. Um, so sometimes I just take all my scraps, I pile, pile them and put this on top and just cut like 10, 20 scrunches at once. It's really easy, really fun. I chose this um, kind of knit fabric. I made a t-shirt a few days ago and I ended up with some scraps. Um, so I'll be using this. You can use any material. Like usually for scrunches I really like silk, uh, but uh, for now that's what I have. And you also need a piece of elastic. I think this is around a little less than five centimeters thick and it is 23 centimeters long. Um, I have two different methods for closing the elastic when it comes to scrunchie. The one I usually do is just I'm used to it. I close it with a zigzag stitch but you can always just make a little knot with your hands. Um, make, make sure this it's strong of course uh, but then I would also add an extra maybe five centimeters to your elastic just so you won't lose too much of the elasticity and you end up with the same kind of scrunchie in the end. So let's do it! We will start by closing our scrunchie with a straight stitch but we will need to leave a gap around two centimeters big to turn the fabric outside in. So let's do it. Like always we have to start with a back stitch. Stop here, leave a gap, and keep going. And now with the help of a baby pin, I will turn this inside out. I have to stop saying inside out because it's not what it is. <laughs> there you go. But this will be a little bit different of what we did last time because what we actually want, we want to the two extremities of our scrunchie to meet. There you go. We're gonna put them together very nicely. Be sure, to, I mean, I have stripes, so I have to be sure that my stripes match. I'll just put this here. And once we have our two edges together, we can sew all around. It is important that we still have the gap in the middle. So if it's too hard with the machine, you can always do it by hand. Just be sure to make it nice and strong. I would do it by machine because I'm working with a knit fabric so it's pretty elastic and it's a little bit easier than if I'll be working with silk or anything that isn't elastic. So let's go. Now that our scrunch is closed, we can look for our gap and pull the inside of the scrunchie out. Like this, and it's almost over. <laughs> and once your scrunch is closed, we can now pass the elastic through with the help of a baby pin. So we still have our gap open, we go through it. Be sure to hold the other edge of the elastic just to be sure you won't get inside and you can avoid a little mess. So here we are. So if you decided to do with the knot, this is the time. Uh, but as I told you, I like to do it with a zigzag stitch. Don't ask me why. And I would just secure the elastic with a normal pin, put it right in the middle, and now we'll sew the zigzag stitch right on top. Trying, of course, not to break my needle and hurt my eye.
put the elastic inside and close this gap with a hand stitch. And your scrunch is ready. If you want to add something a little different, you can watch my headband tutorial and learn how to add, how to create a little bow just like this one just so you can have different size of scrunchies. So I hope you have fun, I hope you like it. And now, you don't ever need to trash fabric again. Um, wish you all a great day and hope to see you soon. Bye.